when I was 21, just going through the temple for the first time, I had a really powerful experience where I was walking into the endowment room and actually looked in the mirror and I saw a woman looking back at me that wasn't me. It was mm. this woman and I mean, she was like magnificent, you know, like she was so full of love and wisdom and strength and kindness. She was mesmerizing. And I remember as I looked at her for a long time, I, I actually realized that it was me. It just wasn't the woman that I was mm. then or mm. the woman I am now. It was for a second, I got to see the woman that I am going to become. Mm. And I think what's so amazing about humanitarian work is that when these kids, when they reach outside of themselves and they give their blood, sweat and tears, you know, we tell them, you haven't given enough if you can still walk when you get on the airplane. <laughs> like, we ask them to give everything. But when they do that, they, they have this understanding for the first time of who they were created to become. And it's like, they see themselves for, for just a minute, like God, whose work is to bring about the eternal life of man. They see themselves as being able to become that. And I think that's the most powerful thing that humanitarian work can give. Yeah, I mean, our, our heavenly parents are the great humanitarians, yeah, right? right? I mean, I mean the best all are. they do yeah. is for us, uh, totally. for, you know, and uh, the, so I thought of the exact same thing. Their work, their glory yeah. is for us. Yeah.